Last night, Oklahoma State took on Ole Miss in the All-State Sugar Bowl. Two Works For You sports anchor Caden McFarland has more on last night's game. Good morning, everybody. For OSU football, there was nothing sweet about this Sugar Bowl. The Cowboys opened this season with 10 straight wins. They finished with three straight losses. And Friday night in New Orleans, Ole Miss providing the biggest bowl defeat in OSU football history. It became kind of a runaway train for us. Uh, I think they're a really, really good football team. OSU making its 10th straight bowl game appearance under Mike Gundy, playing in the Sugar Bowl for the first time in 70 years. The big question pregame, who would start at quarterback for the Pokes? The answer, Mason Rudolph. The freshman was sharp early, hitting on six of his first seven and leading a field goal drive to make it 3-0 OSU. It was all downhill from there. Chad Kelly, three touchdown passes in nine minutes, two of them for Laquan Treadwell. Final play of the half now. Cowboys trailing 27-6. This was the backbreaker. Kelly, the throwback for big old Laramie Tunsil. The tackle eligible at 6'5", 305 pounds. Has himself a touchdown, and the Rebels have a 34-6 halftime lead. Second half was a hotty toddy coronation. The Rebs outgaining the Cowboys by about 200 yards. J.W. Walsh scoring two touchdowns, the only touchdowns of the night for the Cowboys. He finishes his senior season with 26 total scores. But his final game, a one-sided defeat. Ole Miss 48, OSU 20. For OSU, a 10-win season, bittersweet. We hate that uh, we, uh, we didn't play as good as we wanted to. We wish we could have played better. Um, in looking at it, I probably over-practiced them. We probably worked too much and didn't give them a chance to, to catch their breath. We worked hard, man. I thought we were going to come out and dominate this game. Sometimes, I mean, things don't go the way you want them to. But right now, I'm down on myself. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm down because I, uh, I'm taking ownership of this thing. And I didn't do a good job. And it, it hurts down to my core. You know, it's tough. <clears throat> um, you know, uh, you want to look back on this year and... Um, you know, you're going to think about the 10 wins, but uh, for myself personally, I know I definitely will be thinking about these last couple games, and, um, you know, it's tough. Nevertheless, it was a very good season. The Cowboys at 10-3, and three, coming up with only the seventh 10-win season in program history, and 19 or 20 starters will return next year. From here in New Orleans, Caden McFarland, 2 News works for you. Thank you.